What's up, everybody? I'm back, and uh, today we're going to be watching another Bruce Wayne episode. Yes, again, I'm going to be watching other stuff other than this, except I can't find anything right now. But regardless, the video we're going to be watching now is Pet Butterfly. Not really sure to expect. I mean, apparently I had a pet butterfly. You know, I've been seeing a lot of things with this channel that I have a feeling that either Bruce Stu copied the odd ones out or the odd ones out copied Bruce Stu. I mean, pet butterfly, pet moth. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, but as Daz says to his viewers, let's watch the video. All right, when I was a kid, I had a uh, pet butterfly, and I know that's fun weird, a butterfly, like most people have dogs and cats, or even a f ferret or something like that, that's not nearly as weird as <laughs> that ferret drawing though, oh my gosh, look at his face, a butterfly, but uh, I was a weird kid, alright, I, uh, I listened to a lot of Smash Mouth at the time, and I was wearing a lot of Hawaiian t-shirts, like some of this Limp Biscuit. His dad. But in school, they gave us these caterpillars to take care of, which is stupid. You, know, you got a bunch of nine year olds that can barely wipe their ass the right way. They're gonna really take care of something, aren't they? Yeah, it's a living thing. Here, go ahead, go crazy. But I was stoked. I was. I'd be surprised if it didn't escape from their, from their grasp. I was probably more stoked than my dad would have wanted me to be. I didn't give a sh. This bug's gonna be living in our house, dad, alright? He's got his own cardboard box, a little window, some twigs and sh. It's not like he's fucking. Drinking your beer out of the fridge, Dad. Relax. <laughs> and I took care of that fuck. From the way that Bruce Dew animates his videos, that's probably gonna happen. Fucking thing, okay? Not, uh, not like my Tamagotchi, alright? It wasn't face down in the dirt, dead, <laughs> surrounded by its own <laughs> shit. I took care of it way better than that fucking thing. And a couple weeks later, believe it or not, it metamorphized into a little chrysalis. I'm all pumped. I'm sh I'd be scared. I'd be like, where do you go? I don't know the evolution of a butterfly, apparently. Showing my family and sh Oh, look, the little guy's in a cocoon. It's a f***ing chrysalis, Uncle Rick, not a goddamn cocoon. <laughs> it's not a moth, you dense bastard. Jesus Christ, why don't you go get another f DUI, Uncle Rick? Why don't you do that with your not knowing butterfly ass? And then finally, one morning, I woke up and I peered into that box, and there it was, in all its glory. Okay. So what I was I was assuming from the title of this video that he caught a butterfly and kept it, but no, this is a school project. I don't know how I didn't realize this earlier. Murphy the Monarch Butterfly. And to this day, I don't think I've ever been so excited in my life. I'm like belting out Disney show tunes and sh I can show you the world. Shut. <laughs> Flies away. Shining, shimmering splendor. I'm going to school the next day, telling my. Shut up! Friends, hey! Hey, it turned into a butterfly! Did yours turn into a butterfly? Uh, what the f*** are you talking about? It's dead. Oh, the f caterpillar? Oh, my mom threw that in the garbage like two weeks ago. What the f***? You have yours still? Like, f*** yeah, I have mine. Are you kidding me? I'm hanging out with a butterfly all day. I look like I'm on the f***. Cover of a Lisa Frank folder for Christ's sake. And I love that stupid ass butterfly. We'd be like drinking Capri Suns and playing Mario Kart in my room. I'd let it fly around the bathroom and shit. I'd get it to come back to me by dipping a cotton ball in sugar water. It'd come right back to me. I was like the butterfly whisperer. It'd be like, That's pretty cool though. Ooh, I love this shit. Sugar water, my dude. It was like the fucking alien in Men in Black. Sugar. Sugar with water. My dad would be like having beers with his friends. Oh, hey Ken, what uh, what's your kid doing over there? <laughs> well, he's uh, he's um, he's f playing with his butterfly. All right, he's got a pet butterfly. Who the f cares, Mike? All right, at least his teeth aren't all f up like your kid, looking like he's been chewing on bricks his whole goddamn life. But then one day things went a little awry, and this is the part of the story where things get a little sad. So get your Kleenex boxes out. I stayed the night at my buddy's house. And Sorry, I ran out. And it was probably a standard nine-year-old night, you know, filled with f***ing trading Pokemon cards and talking about Pokemon cards and Pokemon cards and more f***ing Pokemon cards. <laughs> and I returned home, and I went up That's him, by the way, on the card. Upstairs to my room, and I noticed Murphy's little f***ing butterfly condos all smashed up and on my floor. And then I- It was the dad. I noticed on my floor that there's little bits of Murphy the Monarch butterflies scattered throughout my f***ing 
room. Like somebody had a surprise birthday party in my room the night before and they used 100% butterfly confetti. And I'm totally devastated. I have no idea what the hell happened. I'm like, holy sh**. My butterfly would rather blow itself up than be my pet? <laughs> and then I look over to the corner of the room and my cat's hanging out there and he's got this look on his face. He's like smoking a cigarette looking at me like, yeah, bitch. I fucking ripped that thing apart. I don't need that sh** in my life. You hear him laughing. My life? What the fuck? gonna do about it. I just had a flash of rage. I could just picture him and my dad having a celebratory drink. Yeah, looks like he's gonna have to start playing with no- It was all the dad's idea. He put the cat in the room. Normal sh** now, isn't it? So I did what any nine-year-old would do to uh, punish a cat. I stabbed it in the f***ing head with a pitchfork. No, I f***ing- I didn't do that. But I did put his ass under a laundry basket. Put him in laundry jail like everybody- like everybody did, right? Everybody- everybody put their cat under a laundry- I was allergic to cats, so I never owned one. Free basket. You're not going anywhere, ass. You murdered my fucking best friend. You, th you sit there and you think about it. You think about it until my mom has to use this later to wash my Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirts. <laughs> so here's to Murphy, that stupid ass butterfly who was my best friend for a solid couple of weeks. I'm sorry I was such a shitty owner, and I'm sorry I had to leave you and you turned into 1999. A confetti. But I had to fucking go trade Pokemon cards, all right? I had to get that holographic Alkazam. And I don't regret it, because I still have that f***ing holographic Alakazam, right? You were gonna f***ing die anyways. I know I was gonna wake up one morning and you'd be all stiff and white, like a f***ing dying E.T. on the bathroom floor. And then what would I do? You'd be gone anyways. So, it's a happy ending, really, if you think about it. Happy ending, because you knew he was gonna die? Well, you know anyone's gonna die, and they do, but it's not a happy ending. <laughs> that was funny, though. Oh man, Bruce Stew always brings something good to the table that makes me laugh and prob probably what, millions of, two millions, of, millions of his fans and people who just started watching him laugh their heads off. I mean most of these people who watched it probably subscribed. Anyway, that was Pet Butterfly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out Bruce Do and Bruce Do Films. Go subscribe to him. And while you're at it, subscribe to me and leave a like and comment on this video. And thank you all for watching. Go check out my Instagram and Snapchat. That's usually in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.